It is a soft desert evening in Tempe, Arizona in the great American Southwest. As the fields are being cleared now, the combat is at hand. The Warriors have arrived and will burst forth into the great arena in just a moment. The Florida State Seminoles will be the visiting team and they'll be wearing the white shirts. And here come the Seminoles. Eleven and one on the year. Atlantic Coast Conference champions. They won a national championship this decade, 1993. They won it despite a loss to Miami. This year, Bobby Bowden's team had a loss at NC State. The opposition, the Tennessee Volunteers, number one, 12 and 0. SEC champions for a second consecutive year. The last consensus national championship for Tennessee was 1951. They had never won 12 games before. As I told you, it is a Pac-10 group of officials, and here is that big old 252-pound place kicker for Florida State. One of these days, he's going to kick one plumb out of the stadium. Sebastian Yanikowski. Fearless Price is the man waiting for it. He is a wide out, and he can take it the other way in a breath. The game is on. Well into the end zone, no return. Tennessee ball, first down at the 20. You can, I think, expect Tennessee to attack the corners. It'll be second down and nine. And to the outside, and a driving tackle takes Martin down. T. Martin taken down by free safety Dexter Jackson, who is number two on the team in tackles. That means he's aggressive and hangs out around the line of scrimmage. He's a big guy. He's 6'3", 220 pounds. And on third down and long, drops to throw and whips it to the near side for Cedric Wilson. And it is incomplete. Take Cody covering on the play. And so Tennessee goes three and out. And here comes the subject of special teams, Bob Greasy. Reggie Durden, number one, 5'9", 175-pound junior. The punt is away. And there's a penalty flag as the punter is knocked down. Durden with some room to work gets it back on the Tennessee side of the field. He's dancing down the sidelines and he hit the chalk at the 29-yard line. But remember, there's a penalty flag back over here. The uh, kicker was knocked down and uh, tumbled him. And that's what brought Personal the flag foul. into the pocket. Personal foul. Roughing the kicker. Against Roughing the, the kicker. That'll be a 15-yard penalty. Automatic. First down. Is that good acting job, huh, Lynn? <laughs> Absolutely. But it's a first down for the Volunteers as the ball comes out to the 37-yard line, and T. Martin lets it go to the sidelines, and the pass is completed to Peerless Price, and Price is going to have the ball on the Florida State side of the field at about the 39-yard line. Call it second down and a long five out of the shotgun now. It's a new set. Martin back. He'll take off with it. And pick up the first down and then some. They finally take him out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Dexter Jackson made the tackle. And Jerry Johnson is back in at tackle for Florida State. T. Martin turns and gets to Henry. And Henry is knocked down behind the line of scrimmage as Warren, David Warren, number 99, came blowing in like a ball in pine and got him. Here's the field goal try now by Jeff Hall. Jeff Hall, who's... Going to hit this one from 32 yards. He is 19 of 24 this season. And it is no good. And that is rare from 32 yards that Jeff Hall doesn't put it down gotta the be, pipe. Got to be just nerves, Keith. Probably is. Oh, wide God. right. Bobby Bowden knows about wide right, doesn't he? And they're going to start in the shotgun. Young Marcus Outson is the quarterback. There are three wide outs on the field. There's a man in motion, is Dukens. They hand the ball off to Travis Miner, breaks the tackle, gets away to the 25 and the 30. And he picks up a first down as he moves it on out about the 34, 35 yard line. They're staying in the shotgun. This quarterback can run. They throw it away to Warwick. Warwick 
Slides by the first man, slides by the second man, picks up another first down for Florida State up at the 45. That was called a rush by the official scorer, too, since it was a lateral pass. That's Warwick, number nine, coming in motion. Same play this way. And back it down. It's a lateral. You better get it out of bounds, and they finally do. It was tapped, I think, wasn't it, by Sean Ellis? Yes, it was. Defensive end getting upfield. The ball was thrown backwards. All right, Swanee. Well, the referee, uh, Bill Richardson, has redefined the interpretation of the rule and penalized Florida State half the distance of the goal line. So they're backed up inside their 15-yard line now. And they'll try to run it with Meyer. Oh, what a block on the corner for Travis Miner. And he almost got loose on the sidelines. He hit the chalk at about the 37-yard line. But what a block on the corner to get him going. Third down. Staying in the shotgun. Outson back for the pass. It's away. And uh, not much on it. Travis Miner almost got his balance back. And uh, if he had been able to get it back, then he could have run a while. But Eric Westmoreland came over and shut him down for Tennessee. And now Florida State will have to punt. Martin to the side. Pass is caught. Tackle broken. Yardage gained is about five, maybe Late six. Flag. Late flag on the play. Late flag. After the play was over, dead ball personal foul, late hit against the defense, 15 yards, automatic, first down. The volunteers have the ball first down at the Florida State 42-yard line. Martin hands it off to Henry. That's a good solid run by Travis Henry, and he has gone for almost a first down. Might even have it before... Clevin Thomas brings him down, <laughs> but he will find out. Yeah. Here's the pitch. Defense after him, and they get him after about a yard pickup on the play. And reacting as if the ball came out, Keith. Yeah, all right. And it did. Florida State took it away from him. Warwick lined up in the backfield, now goes in motion, goes into the wide-out position. Pressure's coming, out and takes off. He's quick. And he's going to have a Florida State first down up at the 49-yard line where Al Wilson gets his first tackle of the night for Tennessee. they got to have somebody to tackle. Second down and 13 now after the three-yard loss. Ball is flipped to Lavernus Coles, to the burner. And Coles is knocked out of bounds on the Tennessee side of the field at the 44-yard line. Outson back, throwing this time. Nope. Hold it down. And he's going to come up short of his first down. It was third down and about uh, three yards, and Outson is short by a yard. So all of them will be there for the Bob Hope Classic, and you'll see it here on ABC Sports. Martin gets some pressure, holds it down. He's behind the line of scrimmage and taken down. And the guy who did it is Brian Allen, number 55. Reggie Durden is back deep. And it's David Leverton now punting. Last time they roughed him, they'll go after him. Nope, no pressure, and it's a bad kick. Shank! A cold, dead shank by Leverton to the right side, and Florida State's going to get this football easily within range of Sebastian Janikowski, that big old place kicker. Travis Miner is the deep man. Marcus Oxen sets him up, pitches it back to him, gets a crack on the right side, and then there is trouble in the form of Eric Westmoreland, outside linebacker. Well, they're in position, and they can pick up one first down. They're easily within uh, Janikowski's uh, field goal range, but they may not get it because they've lost three yards. They're looking at third down now and 13. That pass to the sidelines is off the hands of Lavernus Coles. It was thrown inside, and uh, Coles was pretty well covered on the play by Johnson. Bartholomew and Henry in the backfield for Tennessee now. Martin back to throw it, pumps it, now lets it go, and he's got a man. He's complete to Curtis Price. Big play for Price. He's out of bounds at the 12-yard line, run down by Sean Key. 
Third down and nine on the Florida State 11. They try the middle, and there's a good solid hit on Sean Bryson, the fullback. Benson Scott holding. It's a 24-yard try. It's good. And there's a flag. There's a flag. Dexter Jackson came flying in, and let's see what the call is. It's like the offense is coming back on the field. It does, doesn't it? Personal foul, roughing the kicker. The penalty is accepted. Field goal is taken off the board. It's an automatic first down for Tennessee. He was wide open. I don't know if Henry Henry hasn't thrown more than one or two. <laughs> <Didn't look like laughs> He's trying to sell it. <laughs> Martin passes away. Passes far. It's touchdown. Sean Bryson, the fullback. <laughs> so it's first down, Florida State. Those are just beating themselves right now, actually. Outs and back, gets it in the air. The pass downfield is caught by Dugan. So Marcus Outson hits Ron Dugan's down just short of midfield, and it's first down Florida State. So first down from the 49 as Warwick goes in motion. They've managed to handle Peter so far tonight. Outson puts it over there. And that's picked up. And that's going to be six. It's great. question is can you win a championship with a third string quarterback and they need to get the, the ball to their all-american wide receiver Warwick well there's nothing down there Tennessee just swung him in the shotgun Raynock Thompson was the first man to get there and the Seminoles uh, do look very healthy right now second down and eight <laughs> In the middle, intercepted. Gibson out of bounds, just short of the goal line. Derek Gibson. The Tennessee defense is not a gimme, believe me. Travis Miner. Oh, Did he that's get a hit? lick. I mean to tell you that Al Wilson put some lumber on him. Well, they keep that same line with the two fullbacks there. Glenn's lined up on the other side. Hand it back inside. Ball's loose. I think he fouled it. Loose. No, man over here on this side says it's a touchdown. William McCray went into the pile with it. I saw the ball pop up. But the official on this side, the linesman had both of his arms up. <laughs> Been a ton of laundry on the two. <laughs> he pops it in, partially blocked, and hits the crossbar, and is no good. That's and dead ball. It's dead a ball. dead ball. It's a bad it snap. A bad snap. Bad snap. Never got it up. A lot of time for pumpkin pie. <laughs> Tailback. Stevens broke the tackle. And picks up a first down. Ran right through a tackler and moves the football. Third and 19 now. Yeah, but their second half stuff is spooky. I mean, it's scary. Draw. Martin, draw the back. Trying to get outside where he's got some help, but he can't get there. So they'll have to punt it. Dexter Jackson and uh, Ryan Allen tracked him down. That's a better kick. Peter has to go back to the 23. Three guys, he got away from three, four, five. Sixth one got him. Leverton, the punter, finally made the tackle. Outson on first down. 
throws a bullet to the outside to Dukins. It is caught. Gain is not very big, but the pass is complete. And any completed forward pass right now has got to help Marcus Outson's confidence. Second down and eight now. Outson takes off on a quarterback draw. Finds some daylight in the middle. Takes a little abuse from Darwin Walker as he's taken down at the 15-yard line. Outson back. Throws it. Completes it. Warwick. And Peter steps out of bounds a yard short of the first down marker. That's Glenn in motion. Outson, the quarterback, keeps it. Trying to get some offensive line surge, but Tennessee went under it, and it'll be close. Outson dives, and he is he's at the five-yard line, and that's enough. Tennessee said, we got the ball, and I, he had that thing pretty out there like a loaf of bread or a head of cabbage, and uh, they were slapping at it. They go to the shotgun now for Outson. Quarterback draw. Oh, yep, yep. And look what happened. Number 22, Corey Terry, was in the neighborhood and saw this fellow wandering by in his yard, and he dropped it. <laughs> To the end zone, no. Incomplete, intended for We saw the, the uh, graphic there where he won the uh, Groza Award as the nation's best kicker. 34 yards, they call it. This one's on its way, and it's plenty of leg. And it is good. So, some fireworks. Right in the sky over Sun Devil Stadium in Tempe. All their points on the board, Keith, have been generated by the defense or by special teams. A punt return and the defense uh, with that interception. Henry will carry the ball inside, and I think they're just trying to get to the clubhouse, both teams now, yep. that they've, uh, they've uh, had their rolling around and uh, thrashing and making mistakes and occasionally some bright moments. But you might very well see a much better organized football game in the second half of play. We've run it out. The half is going to end with Tennessee leading Florida State by a score of 14 to 9. For those of you who may not know the story, uh, Chris Winkie was the starting quarterback all season long, injured his neck late in the season, and uh, Marcus Outson, who was in the spring, was the third string quarterback. The kickoff to start the second half is a pop up. Taken at the 19-yard line and a short return because the coverage was under the high pop-up. It's third down and seven now for Florida State. Warwick moves out of the backfield again, going in motion. Outs and back, looks at it. Now gets it go down the sidelines, and that's overthrown, and uh, Steve Johnson slapped it away. Cottrell is in to punt. It's Parker waiting. Oh, they almost blocked that. Flag down on the far side over there. Not a very good kick. They almost blocked it. In fact, they might have gotten a piece of it, but they also might have been offside. And it's third and long here. Third and 15. They'll try the run. And he can't get loose. He went one way, nothing there. Starts back the other. They track him down. Seymour makes the tackle on Travis Henry. Remember the history of Florida State on defense in the second half. They just don't give you much. That's fielded at the 16. And tackled at the 14. My goodness, Derek Edmonds comes down and makes the play on Reggie Durden. Outson, here comes the reverse. Cole stumbles the ball, runs out of the end zone, coming up the sidelines, and he'll go down at the 10-yard line. Well, Wolfman almost got run over there. Wolf, <laughs> Wolf the umpire. Walter <laughs> better, better look out. Outson's pass is away, and it is incomplete. It didn't have good spin on it. It seemed to float. It was intended for Ron Dugans, and... Uh, Seminoles are going to have to punt from deep in their own territory.
Martin still got it. Rolls out mass time. Delivers the ball to Finlayson. And Finlayson, the tight end, makes the catch. Moved the chains. He got a first down. Quarterback draw out of it. The flushing. And he won't get his first down. They dropped him just about the line of scrimmage. Going to throw it. He's going down the middle with it, and he makes it work for Dugan. Dugan's can run. And he's out to the 40-yard line for a first down, and no flags in his wake. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> he's got the speed, he's got the quickness, and the right. talent. Absolutely. Up the middle, opens up, and Oxen takes off. He ran out of the arms of the first would-be tackler, and uh, picked up a pretty good gain on it. Al Wilson brought him down. He had to track him down, and that's the point, isn't it? It's well, first down. Exactly. So on first down, Outson, little play action. And take loss. Number 42 penetrated. Uh, you know, Westmoreland's played very well tonight. He's that's about four tackles for him. Second down now. About 16. Passes away. Passes completed. Caught by Ron Dugans, they're all over Warwick, so Dugans now is getting a single coverage, and Outson's been able to find him twice in this possession. They go to William McCray, and McCray rumbles over the left side, down to the 30, and it's a first down, and here's one. Outson back. Number 40, Billy Ratliff. A tackle got him. Wait a minute. Travis Miner got outside. Good tackle. That'll put you down. That's Derek Edmonds. Oh, and Al Wilson is back on the field and, for Tennessee. And what that holding penalty does, it got him out of field goal range of Janikowski. Certainly did. Outson throws it, caught by McCray. Trying to set a little screen action Outson to the right side, and they get it down to about the 45-yard line, and they'll have to punt it away. If these two defenses in the second half have just been like running through the wire patch backwards. <laughs> Martin rolls it, throws it, completes it, out right on the marker. Just depends on where the linesman wants to put his foot down. That's Cedric Wilson running a good sharp pattern. 15-yard line, second down and 10. Martin hit as he throws, but puts it on the money to Peerless Price. But uh, T. Martin does a nice job of getting rid of the ball and then taking the hit. Peerless Price has caught three balls now for 120 yards. Remember, he had that big 76 yard. Martin throws a good catch. That's a terrific catch by Jermaine Copeland. Double wide, bring one back toward the ball. Copeland, Martin roll it to the left, throw it, drop it. Ball was on the hands of Copeland, covered by Edwards. Copeland couldn't reel it in, and it falls away incomplete, and the quarter is over. It is fourth down, and Leverton is in the punt. David Levin. It's Reggie Durden under the punt for Knowles, and he calls fair catch. It's over his head, and they're going to down that thing way down there. And did they lose it? Great special teams play. Oh, boy. We showed your graphic earlier in the game where they were 104th on net punting. Wow, look at that thing. I mean, it is right there. You'd think Tennessee right about here would just load up and go after him, wouldn't you? Well, there's two points to be had if he drops back and passes if you sack him. Balls away. Inter almost intercepted. Almost intercepted. Warwick was under it. Johnson was the man reaching for it and ready to catch it, and Peter knocked it away. Keith Cottrell out of the end zone. Need, they need a howitzer here. It's a low snap, and it's a low kick. And there might be some return on this by Parker. There is. He comes all the way back to the 35-yard line. I mean, there's a lot at stake here. They're pretty much in field goal range. Obviously, they want to keep them out of there. That'll give them an eight-point lead. They lead by five. They're going for the bundle. It is 
an intercepted. It's intercepted by Dexter Jackson. And Jackson comes back out to the 23-yard line. His own player tripped him up. Billy Rhodes. Yeah. Outson back to throw it. Got a catch. Ron Dugans. Price didn't protect his quarterback. He, he should have caught the ball, and he hit him right in the chest in Absolutely. the back. The ricochet. Travis Miner. That run is all the way down to the Tennessee 39-yard line. Miner again. Oh. Dropped that shoulder and pounded the defensive back and got it on down the field. Now, now you have to pick up some yardage, I think, to even go for the field goal. Third and 15. And Tennessee just blew it apart. Darwin Walker. What a play. He just ran over everybody and put the quarterback on his back. T. Martin has been put on the ground 11 times tonight. Not as many times as usual when you're playing Florida State. That ball going down the sidelines is Here's Price. Yeah. Nine yards. You make some big plays outside. It's blocked. The extra point try is blocked. It's 20 to 9. Tennessee is in the lead. On first down from the 28-yard line. Outs and back. Pressure coming. They got him. Ball loose. Tennessee's got it. Tennessee recovers the fumble. Billy Ratliff hit him from the blind side. The ball came out. They didn't want to. They would have been happy to have redshirted him this year, but they've had to play him some. And you might get his taste of this one uh, if Tennessee scores here. Stevens pops out of the pile and goes down inside the 10 yard line. There are rooters. He and Henry both. They get in there and pound away, and all of a sudden they come out the other side. 23 yard field goal try. Boy, this is big. Good. 6 one to play in the ball game. The firecrackers are popping, and Tennessee is leading 23 to 9. They've never won 12 games before in a season. They look right now like they're going to win 13 this year. Pop up. They don't want them to give them that big return. They pop it up like that, and they get good coverage. But if you break that kind of coverage, man, you've got a big play. Reggie Durden can't break it, and here's the penalty flag. Probably, I mean, that fullback, third string fullback should wear number 37. <laughs> Stop it. I mean, no, I'm serious. I mean, maybe maybe they gave it to you as a freshman. But when you but when you make this traveling squad or when you make the starting, you get yourself a good number like 88 or 82. Or... <laughs> Out of the shotgun now, ball snap low, and it bounces off of Oxen's knee. Came back low and hard, and they're fighting over it. And it's going to remain in the possession of Florida State. This may be the last game that Marcus Allison starts at Florida State University. This time Thomas delivers it on the numbers and Allison is running. He's going to do it again. All right, they call, call this one down. It's difficult. Hobson rolls to buy a little time, trying to find somebody. Let it, let it go, Marcus. He's going to get killed. Throws it too high and out of bounds. And there's a penalty flag. He had Warwick open, but Bumping he only had one shoe on. By the defense. Pass interference against the offense. Receiver was downfield blocking. Those penalties will offset. Replay the down. Tennessee on the head didn't do that much banging. 
They did some, but, some, uh, but not that much. Florida State. I mean, the Bulls really went after it to get themselves in shape. Outson's pass down the middle. He's got Dugans, and he's got some room. And he's down inside the 10, down to about the seven-yard line before he is brought down by Renock Thompson. Touchdown. Marcus Anderson just squeezes it out. And it's a touchdown for Seminole. Will Overstreet objecting. Will thought he had him down, but not so. Keith, I don't think you do the onside kick. You've got the best defense in the nation that's been kind of uh, uh, dented here tonight. I think you kick it deep. There you go. The other point. Didn't go. Did it go? And they got the ball. Uh, Janikowski, the kicker, went down and covered it. Tennessee was ready. They had their good hands team up there, but they didn't react to the ball. It looked good to me. It went 10 yards. The other uh, Seminoles went ahead of him to block the receiving team. It went 10 yards. It didn't touch anybody. Right? Touched the ball before it went 10 yards. Accepted at the spot of touching. First down. Didn't work that way. Tennessee starts with the ball now at the Florida State 42 yard line. And T. Martin will throw. And the pass is completed to Sean Bryson out of the backfield. And he's got nine yards on the play. Third down and a yard. If they can pick it up here and get four more snaps. I want to tell you a story about George Cassidy. I don't think they got it. No way. They're going fourth and uh, maybe even a little more than a yard. Martin throws. It's completed. It's a first down to Sean Bryson out of the backfield. All the way down to the 10. He stepped out of bounds on the 11. Ball game there. Nice call. Randy Sanders making a nice call. That thumping sound was the door closing. Because nobody's name rests higher in Tennessee football history than George Cathago. All loose. Florida State's got it. Henry went into the line and lost the football. He never had it. He never had it from the exchange. It was a fumble right from the get-go. Well, let's see what the rooster can do. Let's it go big down the middle. Vernus Coles is under it. The ball is intercepted. Steve Johnson. And that will do it. Johnson and Grant were down on double coverage. The ball was popping around, and Johnson came down with it. If he if he could have won a national championship with a third-string quarterback, been a, he, he's a magician. Been an incredible achievement. He really would have. This is T. Martin sliding to a stop after picking up about three yards. That's something you will never forget. And to watch Phil Fulmer, who comes from Winchester, Tennessee. He played at Tennessee. He's lived there all of his life. He will live there all of his life. And uh, he now has security, and his football team has won a national championship. And uh, it's fun to see. And I congratulate him. Bobby Bowden, of course, is a longtime legend, and he too will congratulate Phil Fulmer because the Tennessee Volunteers felt they might very well be a team of destiny. They talked about it quietly, discussed it, with the kind of respect that you had to have for it. And uh, they've won 13 games. They have lost none. And they've stood up to every challenge. And they came out of the blocks at the very start of the season, almost losing in Syracuse. And pulled it out against Arkansas, against Mississippi State. Beat Florida for the first time in five years. Probably was the biggest thing that happened to them and really got them going. And so it is done. The Tennessee Volunteers have defeated 
the Florida State Seminoles 23 to 16. And we'll have the trophy presentation for you in just a moment.